the engine has to provide thrust to make the aircraft fly, but what is very important as well, it has um, to satisfy some um, constraints which are quite important today. The consumption in order to be attractive to the customer, the noise is quite important effectively that for the takeoff phases and for the approach phases, for the landing phases, the engine is not very noisy. And then there is another very important criterion that has to be taken into account is the emissions of some nitrogen and carbon oxides uh, that have to be below a certain level in order not uh, to, uh, to pollute. What um, surprises me about this engine for sure is the size. When you see it here installed on A380, it's not very surprising because this aircraft is huge and uh, the other sister engines are um, just a little bit smaller than, uh, than, than, than it. But when you see on A350, you can realize that, wow, it's, a, it's really a huge engine. A380 is bigger for sure, but it has four engines. A350 has two engines, so we needed a very powerful engine. This engine is uh, the most powerful engine that is currently powering uh, the Airbus aircraft. Since the A340-600, we have pushed to perform what we call an FTB, so a flying test bed, which consists in installing the engine of the next aircraft or next aircraft model on a bench in order to make it fly, uh, to assess its behavior in flight from a power plant standpoint. So the work on the engine effectively is starting even before the first flight. We have accumulated uh, uh, so far about 250 hours, flight hours of, of test. It will be much, much more intense as soon as the second A350 prototype will fly, so MSN3, because this will be the aircraft quite uh, dedicated to the engine stuff, and it's going to be much, 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 uh, much more intense. The first flight is, uh, is approaching very fast. Engines, yes, will be my baby, let's say, I mean, but afterwards they will be the baby of everybody. So I will, uh, will try to treat them very well, but uh, afterwards as phase, as a normal development and certification, I will try to, to push them uh, to the limits as it's necessary to do uh, before, before, uh, before the certification and before the entry to service. So careful at the beginning, less careful at the end, let's say.